Hey real estate investors, James Wise with Holton Wise here. Today I have another awesome video. I am searching the Cleveland MLS looking for the hottest investment properties. And today we're gonna head on out to Shaker Heights. That is an A-class neighborhood and I have located three high-end duplexes. Let's dive in. guys, James Wise here. We're at the first of the three duplexes in Shaker Heights. This is the first time I've been in this house, but from what I've seen online, I love it. I love coming into this area. I am currently standing in like the common area vestibule. So we have this door, which is currently a common door, and you are watching this from inside of the downstairs unit right here is how we get to the upstairs unit. So if you actually just take a step back, you'll be in the living room of the downstairs unit. And then we have another exterior door right here. So as we open the exterior door to the downstairs unit, I can see this unit, you know, this thing is huge. Real quick, let's go over the facts on this property. The address, 3537 Normandy Road, Shaker Heights. Price, this thing's listed by a Howard Hanna agent. 154,500. Now we have two units, as I mentioned. Believe it or not, this is the small unit, guys. This is the one that's two beds, one bath. So we have flowing hardwoods throughout, I love that. Looks like we've got one of the bedrooms here. It's kind of got like a Jack and Jill type layout. Swing over to our hallway. Full bath, definitely gonna need a little bit of renovation. Nothing super special, nothing horrible, but we wanna, you know, put a little bit of money into this, create that nice high-end look. Swing over into our second bedroom, decent-sized bedroom. Again, the hardwoods, they flow throughout. Back over into the gigantic living room. We got the formal, formal dining room. Swing back into the kitchen in the back of the house. Honestly, this kitchen is pretty good as is. And then we got a little breakfast bar area over here, a little, more like a mudroom actually. I would consider this to be a mudroom. Now, the listing agent on this property said that the previous owner was renting this unit out for $750 a month. However, given the space of this thing, this is what I recommend we do. We come in, we paint all these walls agreeable gray, we keep the trim white, the floors, the floors look great, the kitchen looks great. We literally just need to come in, repaint, clean it up a little bit, and Holton Wise will be able to rent this downstairs unit for even more. I think that 750 is on the low end. I believe we can get at least $850 a month for this unit. Now, let's take a look upstairs to check out the upstairs unit, which is actually the bigger of the two units. <laughs> All right. We are in the upstairs unit, and for the most part, the upstairs unit mirrors the downstairs. We have this huge living room, huge dining room. Over there, we have the exact same bed-bath combo. Bed, bath second bed. Some cool things that this upstairs unit has that the downstairs didn't is this cool porch right here. Look at this. I mean, this is this is nice, guys. We are going after that high-end tenant. We are providing them with quality houses. It's important that when you're looking at these investments, what I see a lot of investors forget to do is reverse engineer it. You shouldn't look at the property and the numbers first. What you should do is look at the property and then go, who would live here? Who am I gonna attract to this property? 
If the answer is the only person I'm gonna attract is an undesirable tenant, you're gonna have a tough go with your investment. Whereas this property, it's in a great neighborhood. It's got a lot to offer. We got this great porch. I mean, you're gonna get people that are really gonna enjoy living here. And if they enjoy living here, guess what they're gonna do, guys? They're gonna stay longer, which is gonna reduce your turnover, which is gonna increase your NOI. All right, as we come back in from that little porch, we have this nice little area just like downstairs. Again, it could be like a mud room, maybe a little breakfast nook, whatever you want to call it. We go into the kitchen. Another kitchen, this is great, just like the downstairs kitchen. It's in good quality condition. We do not need to completely renovate the kitchen. I actually like this kitchen better than I like the one downstairs because it's a little bit more open to the, the rest of the unit. Now, the downstairs unit was cool. But this upstairs unit is even better. We had that porch and then we have a freaking awesome surprise. We're gonna go upstairs now and there's a completely finished third floor. This is like a master suite, let's take a look. Now as we walk into this third floor master suite, this thing is cool. You know, we just need to repaint it and redo the carpet. Just simple stuff, but this is gonna add tons of value, guys. Right here we got the master bath. And as we continue down this hallway, we have two more rooms. We got this closed off room right over here. And then we have this like open area right over here. Now, as you'll see, we came in through the back, but there's also stairs going down the front. So if you were to come in the front, this would be open. And then you got a closed off space there, closed off space there. So what do you want to consider the third floor? Is this third floor two more bedrooms with a nice bonus room or is it just one luxurious master suite? I don't really know what you want to consider it, but either way, this upstairs unit, all we have to do, repaint it, redo the carpet, and we are going to get $1,200 a month out of this unit. All right, I want to check out the mechanicals too. We have two electrical panels right here, so that means the tenants are going to pay their own electric. Neither of these are fuses, they're both breakers, so that is good. We have two hot water tanks. You got the down, you got the up. Uh, this one right here was replaced in 2013, so that's pretty good. This one's probably a little bit older, but they last roughly 15 years. If you ever need to replace one, it's gonna run you about $1,000. Over here, we got two furnaces. Tenants are gonna pay their own heat. Both of these look pretty newer to me. It says in my notes that one was replaced in 2016. The other one doesn't look much older. Furnaces are gonna run you 20, sometimes 40 years. If you need to replace them, the cost on that, roughly $3,000. But it does not appear that we have anything to worry about in regards to the furnaces, the hot water tanks, or the electrical system. All of our fixes are gonna be cosmetic. Let's head on back upstairs to talk about what we need to do to get a tenant in this building. We're gonna get $1,200 upstairs, and then on the first floor, we're gonna get $850. That is a total rent of $2,050 a month to high-end tenants. And all we have to do to achieve that rent is come in, repaint both units, redo the carpet upstairs, just minor cosmetic fixes, nothing major. All right, so that was this property. Really quick before we go to the next house, something I wanna point out. You see this right here? This is two service panels. I know a lot of you were probably thinking when we were upstairs in that third unit, hey, maybe we can get some more money by placing a third tenant in there. I do not think that that is the move. You see, I believe it's gonna be cost prohibitive to actually get the city out to allow you to place a new tenant, the cost for the zoning, and then you have three tenants paying a little bit less rent. Think, more turnover costs, more utility bills for roughly the same rent. The better move is to keep your initial costs down now and get two tenants that are gonna be paying higher rents, you know, more long-term tenants, which is gonna to lead to less turnover, more stable tenants, and I believe a higher return on your investment over the long period. The last thing I want to point out before we take off is going to be that roof up there. Now, if you take a look at that roof, it's in pretty good shape. 
I don't have the exact age of the roof in my notes, but I have no reason to believe from looking at it that it needs to be replaced anytime soon. However, whenever you purchase a property using me as your buyer's agent, I always recommend you get a third party inspection and we do have inspector recommendations for you. Now, that's all for that property. I wanna take you to the second property that I'm here to show you. What do you know? Here it is, this property, right next door to the first one. 3541 Normandy, also Shaker Heights obviously. This one is listed for only 140,000. This is also a duplex. Unlike the last one though, this one is already fully occupied, guys. This one is bringing in $800 a month out of the two bed, one bath unit, and it's bringing in $1,200 a month out of the four bed, two bath unit, which I believe is very similar to the unit right next door that I want us to get $1,200 a month. The annual taxes on this one, $5,936. It was built in 1931, and the seller is gonna actually need you to assume the point of sale violations on this property. Hence, why this one is about $10,000 cheaper than the neighboring one. Now that's it for these two properties. We're gonna hop in the car, drive down the street. We got a third house for you, about two minutes away. Let's take a look. See me running full speed at it Shattering collide Calling post-traumatic Now it's do or die Come and walk down the tiny brown shirts Come and walk down the tiny brown shirts See me running All right, we are getting close to the other house. As you can see, this thing is right next door to the last house we just toured. It is this one right here. I'm just gonna pull up in front of it, okay? Look at this house. Look at this house, guys. Look at this neighborhood. This is awesome. Let me go through the details on this house. Three, five, five, four, Linfield, Shaker Heights, four, four, one, two, two. This one is listed for 132,500. It's listed by a Keller Williams agent. This is another duplex. One of the units is a two bed, one bath. The other is a five bed, two bath. The rents, the two bed, one bath, $850 a month. The five bed, two bath, $1,000 a month. That is a total rent of $1,850. The taxes on this property, $5,745. It was built in 1933. This property is gonna come to us with a clear point of sale report. So there are no violations. So this is completely turnkey. We don't always have to buy the lowest quality investments. You know, they always say the lower the quality of the investment, the higher the hassle. And you're thinking, hey, as long as I hire a property manager, I don't need to worry about the hassle. Well, that's true, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. We do make it easy for you for all these hassles. We make it easy to deal with those because we handle them. But what we don't do is we don't make it cheap for you. There is nothing that Holton Wise will do for you for free. So all the hassles are just gonna equate to dollar signs. That's why when you buy something high end like this, you could usually end up with a higher return on your investment over the long term. Look at this neighborhood. This is a beautiful A-class neighborhood. These are high quality tenants. This is smooth real estate investing. All right guys, so that's it for my tour of Shaker Heights. As you can see from this video, this neighborhood is beautiful. We are gonna get some high quality tenants investing in this area. That's why I brought these properties to you guys. I am the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland area, but I cannot bring all the properties to the market. That's why I scour the MLS every single day looking for the hottest investments to bring to you guys. You see, if you wanna make an offer on any of those three properties, click the link above or below, and I will act as your exclusive buyer's agent in the purchase of those properties. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. If you guys see properties on the MLS that you want me to do a video just like this go ahead and drop those addresses in the comments below and we could shoot a video just like this one showing you guys those investment properties Holton Wise the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland area we want to do everything we can to bring you guys the most profitable investments in this market we handle all the property management so those properties that already have tenants in them we can take
take care of that. That one that needs slight renovation before we put a tenant in it, Holton Wise is more than capable of handling all those renovations for you. You see the majority of our buyer base is out of the Cleveland area. We have many investors from California, New York, Texas, as far away as Israel. We are the complete one-stop shop for all things real estate investing. I'm James Wise. If you want to hear more about me and my personal story, you can follow me on my Instagram, at JamesWiseHWPG. I like to peel back the layers of a full-time real estate investor on that page. It's not all sales stuff like the Holton Wise pages. It's really just a behind-the-scenes look at what life is like as a full-time real estate investor. You see this business, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it can get downright savage. You're going to see some nasty things out there, which again is why I brought these properties to you today the higher end properties are going to have a lot less savagery as always james wise holton wise real estate investing made easy Breathe. It was going good, but we're about to run on a road. Tom, tell me what to do. Action. Goddamn right. Say it again, Tom. You say it again, Tom! Action.